Can the Commission on Presidential Debates be fair? That is the question in tonight's shortened preamble. Many conservatives are still outraged over the conduct of Fox News Sunday's Chris Wallace in the last presidential debate. Wallace, a registered Democrat, took it upon himself to debate the president, adopting liberal worldviews to formulate his one-sided questions. He did this all the while only asking Joe Biden one challenging question. Wallace has since elected himself as the nation's mask monitor, aggressively berating Trump surrogates on why the socially distanced first family wasn't wearing a mask at that debate. The Chris, role. I was there, I they, was there like no, you were, and they were distanced. Wh why those did they chairs break were the not rules. close together. Look, those chairs were not close together. And again, we also believe that people it doesn't can matter, Steve. The rules from the Cleveland Clinic choices. were close together, Steve. And the rules okay. from the Cleveland Clinic were everybody wears you know, a mask. Why didn't Chris, they? Chris, the way you're starting to harangue me now actually reminds me of what you did to the president during that debate on Tuesday night when oh, he, yeah. debate, I, did he not I just Joe, him. No, and then he had to he had to debate not just Joe, Joe Biden, but you as well. You were not a neutral moderator then. I don't mind tough questions. I welcome you know how reasonably tough questions. But what I don't think is okay is for you to become the effective opposition to the president. Okay, and those everyone there was tested in the crowd. They were distanced from each other. People can make reasonable Steve, decisions that, for themselves. State. No, they actually, they can't. They're the rules, and they'll be kicked out next time. Steve, let me just simply say, the president interrupted me and the vice president 145 times, so I object to saying I harangued the president. I know it's the talking point. Yeah, that's not a talking point. Anybody watching the debate actually saw what happened. Senior Trump advisor uh, Steve Cortez let Wallace have it, and, well, it was well-deserved. But this won't be the only debate. Depending on the president's recovery, two more presidential debates are slated, and the VP debate goes down this Wednesday. Steve Scully, a Democrat, is scheduled to moderate the next presidential debate. Scully interned for both Senator Ted Kennedy and Senator Joe Biden. In a 2001 interview with the Cable Center, Scully said, quote, I came to school in Washington, D.C., went to American University and had a couple of internships. I worked for Joe Biden, senator from Delaware at the time, as an intern. So I had my first chance to really see politics up close in Washington, D.C. Now, are we to believe that the only fair moderator that could be found was a Democrat who once interned for the Democrat candidate for president? With their selection of liberal moderators, the Commission on Presidential Debate says these are the most qualified people in America to provide a fair and unbiased debate. Question, why are no registered Republicans or conservatives slated to moderate? Are we simply expected to accept this patently absurd and provably false notion that liberals are the only ones among us who are to be fair and impartial? Why do Republicans go along and accept their party's candidates being put at a disadvantage every single election cycle? You know, gone to the days of Tim Russert, a man who we all knew was a Democrat and who could actually ask tough questions equally of both sides. The debate commission has shown, and Chris Wallace has proven, that Republicans and conservatives can't get a fair shake. So why do Republicans agree to these unfair and ludicrous terms? One final note. BizPack Review noted how Chris Wallace has made the rounds as a guest on FNC shows after his disastrous debate performance. It must be so reassuring for Mr. Wallace to know that his compatriots over there at Fox, due to contractual restrictions, wouldn't treat him the same way he treated President Trump. So to that end, I'd like to publicly invite Mr. Wallace right here on The Chris Salcedo Show. If he holds his performance in such high regard, it shouldn't be any trouble at all to defend his conduct. And I will make this promise to you, Chris Wallace. I will treat you fairly, sir, just as fairly and respectfully as you treated President Trump. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.